Hi, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about the um, iStackathon project. So I made a multiplayer Chinese chess uh, that you know people can play with. Uh, well, it's just two-player right now. But you can play via WebSockets. And uh, it also has an AI option, which is actually the coolest part that I'll be talking about next. But real quick, um, so I didn't really use any major libraries, most of it from scratch. But I did, of course, use um, Redux. Um, I use Canvas to render everything, um, WebSockets. And with the AI, I wrote a, um, like a combination of Minimax with alpha beta pruning and Monte Carlo tree search for it to make, um, for the bot to make the right decisions. So real quick, um, sorry, one sec. OK, so um, as you can see, we'll play by it. So I'm, I'm team black. So if you click on a piece, it'll tell you where you can go. That's the pawn. I didn't really, I didn't did the Western pieces thing kind of last minute, so it won't persist. Um, but then if you go to, oh, oops. Okay. Something bugged out, OK. Um, so the pawns can go one move forward. It's pretty much the same as chess, except, um, oh, god damn it. Like, these are rooks, and all oh, the AI's on, that's why. It's like, what's going on? Um, so these are like the rooks, these are the knights, these are cannons, which are kind of like rooks, except they can jump over pieces to capture the next one, and this is the king, and so on and so on. Um, so real quick, I want to talk about the AI. So as, I'm going to turn it on real quick. So as, as you can see, it's thinking and then it makes a move. It's pretty slow, but it, the reason why I used Minimax as well as Monte Carlo is that um, Minim, Minimax is the way for the AI to look at all branches a couple steps ahead for very short term, um, for very short term moves. Um, it's the way, it basically makes sure it doesn't make really stupid mistakes. Um, Monte Carlo is a way for it to look really, really far ahead to do the moves that would um, help it, that would allow it to have like the best long-term um, results. And the reason, so one of the major challenges was um, getting the AI to not make very stupid mistakes. And it did that because with Monte Carlo, because it was looking so far ahead, it was kind of missing a lot of immediate stuff. So for instance, if I, let me see. So if I had moved my cannon over to here to take the knight, I'm really hoping it doesn't, it's not stupid here. OK, thank god. I was like, that would be really embarrassing if you didn't do that. So that's the rook, and it obviously would kill my cannon. But initially, with Monte Carlo, it wouldn't do that, because it was like looking at all these other moves, and it was missing stuff in the short term. So which is, that's the reason why I ended up creating um, like a hybrid approach where the minimax would look uh, very shortly ahead and then prune the branches. So there's like like only the top five moves. Um, the AI would only consider the top five moves. And then out of those moves, it would use Monte Carlo to look way ahead and then choose the best move, choose the move that would create um, the best long-term results. Um, let me see, anything else? Um, so that was one of the major challenges was getting the AI to work and or figuring out which AI to use. Um, another really big challenge was um, the legal moves because obviously each of these guys, there's only certain places you can go. And it was difficult because unlike with chess, like for instance with this knight, it can't just jump over. It has to, there's like a path. If there's someone blocking um, the path that can't actually get there. Similarly with, um, this is the elephant, it's kind, of like, um, it's kind of like a bishop. So if there were a unit here, it would not be able to jump over and get over here. So it, it kind of made it 
a little bit more difficult to um, calculate all the legal moves. And then the toughest thing was actually um, checking for like checkmates because in order for that to happen, for instance, if so if my cannon were here and let's say there's only one unit in between, or yeah, actually there's two units in between, if the AI moves this guy away, then I'll be able to capture his king. So I had to make a way for not just the AI, but for the game to know if moving something out of the way would cause problems for your general or your king. And it would, so it would not allow that, um, not allow that move, even if the individual piece should be able to make that move. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's the Chinese chess, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>